What's going on people? Gabriel say aka the truth back again with another video. Today we're talking about a topic which has been asked of me quite a few times. A few people have sent me this question. What do you do if you're skinny fat? So what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Let's define what skinny fat is firstly. Because some people say they're skinny fat and they're just plain skinny. You don't have much muscle tone at all. You just have, I'd say an above average layer of body fat, including a pot belly. So if you're not too sure what skinny fat means, when I think skinny fat, I mean this. Now the main question that kind of springs off from this is, do I cut or do I bulk? Do I cut? Do I bulk? Do I cut? Do I bulk? But anyway, the truth is, and when I explain this to people, some people look at me and say, good point. Other people look at me and go, Huh? If you're skinny fat, you don't have enough muscular development. This should be your main focus. Before, when I was, when I first started lifting, which was 2003, no one really bothered about the whole cut and bulk. No one really understood it. No one really knew what was going on. Now that this whole fitness epidemic has hit mainstream and people want to get cut, you know, the whole aesthetic era has come into play. Now people are really, really focusing on either the bulk or cut. What happened to just strong? What happened to just strength? You know, I want to be strong. And I think people losing sight of this is what has caused this problem. If you're skinny fat, you don't have enough muscle tissue. You don't have enough muscular development. So hit the weights hard. Compound exercises, big lifts, progressive overload. So making sure you're always increasing the weights each week, make sure you're always progressing, will build the muscular tissue will give you the muscular development will give you them gain now the problem with most people that are spoken to is they think that cardiovascular training is the way forward so they get on the stepper and they're hitting it hard every day they think they're making gains but too much cardiovascular training does the opposite you're not giving the muscle any reason to be retained so it's gonna disperse it, and then it's gonna hold on to the body fat. So that's why you have the skinny fat look. So for all you skinny fat people out there, the guys that sent me the questions, thank you for sending in the questions. It gives me a reason to do these videos. I'll give you two things to do. Two, two, get your diet in check. Cut out the, the rubbish, make sure that your, your balance is good. You, know, you don't want your fats too high, and your carbs too high, and your protein really low. You don't want your, you, you know, you get the ratios right. You know what I'm saying? Ratios. Connection. Get your diet in check. Let someone help you get your diet in check. And then number two, eat more and make sure those calories go to good use by heavy ass lifting. Doing these light weights for flipping 20 reps, 30 reps, ain't gonna do shit. Heavy weights is what keeps the muscles dense, what keeps it full, which gives you that full effect. You start training light thinking that that's what you need to do, it's not really doing much. You're not giving the muscle a reason to stay. You know what I'm saying? So I've just realized it's kind of three points. Yeah, so, so point number three. I said it before, said it earlier. Stop doing cardio. Stop doing so much cardio. You don't need to do so much cardio. If you're skinny fat, just focus on your strength. The more strength you get, the more muscular development you get, the better your body composition will be. And because you've cleaned up your food and you've got the right ratios, you will start burning fat anyway. You will start, you will start putting on muscle in places. Your waist will start looking smaller. Your overall body composition will look fantabulous. Fantabulous. So I hope that helped you guys out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, okay, then, then guess don't give me a, a thumbs up. Also, check out my t-shirts. For all those people that try to talk to you when you got weights in your hand and your headphones are on, are you still talking, bro? They're available at gabrielsay.com. It will mean a lot to me if you guys could share the love, get one of these t-shirts so we could be the same and help support the channel. But until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.